Austin Preparatory School's 60 years have been marked by resiliency, determination, and commitment to Augustinian education. Founded by the Augustinian Friars of the province of St. Thomas of Villanova in 1961 and open to students in September 1963, Austin is in fact an abbreviated version of Augustine. As a result, our school name carries on the legacy and acknowledges our debt to St. Augustine and his followers, the Augustinians. In the footsteps of our patron saint, our journey has been guided by the Augustinian ideal of one mind, one heart, intent on God. At the invitation of Cardinal Richard Cushing and the Archdiocese of Boston, the Augustinians welcomed 176 freshmen and 24 sophomore boys in the school's inaugural year of 1963, graduating its first class of 18 students in 1966. This rich Augustinian heritage continues to live with us today. I was assigned as my first assignment in 1963 to Austin Prep, which was a brand new school that hadn't opened to students at that point. And uh, I came uh, right from the seminary in August, and we had a month of living in a building that wasn't quite finished. And uh, I had great lu a luxury apartment. In the room that I lived in, we had a bed, and a chair. Initially, they were when we op were ready to open with students, there were nine Augustinians uh, present as the first faculty. Myself and two of my classmates, uh, it was our first assignment. The early years of Austin Prep were not without challenge, however, facing declining numbers in vocations the Augustinians planned to close several of their schools, including Austin Prep. Amidst growing concerns, a group of dedicated parents, students, and faculty staged protests, orchestrated petitions and appeals, and came to an agreement with the order to save the school. I was here in 1969 as a student when we heard that the school was gonna close. Um, it's quite a story, and the, uh, uh, the best part of the story, I think, is the involvement of the students in saving their school. When the provincial of the Augustinian order heard that there was unrest in Reading, he decided to pay a visit. On the night of his visit, 250 adults packed the cafeteria. Outside, 450 students gathered to march in protest. The Augustinians, hoping to keep the school alive, agreed to transfer the school to a new lay board of trustees. And Austin Prep became a fully incorporated Catholic independent school. To help ensure that enrollment numbers remain sustainable for future admission cycles, the board approved the addition of a middle school in 1987, but still as an all-boys school, Austin Prep now served young men in grades 6 through 12. At the time, Catholic and independent schools across the country were looking for new ways to grow. Austin Prep was no different and made the decision to open its doors to young women with Austin Prep's first alumna graduating in 1993. The first girls were very um, enthusiastic and they obviously knew that they were coming into a new environment and they would be the first girls here to kind of establish uh, the girls' role within the school. And I think particularly for me, I was the Dean of Student Activities at the time. Working with the girls in the activities program was um, really significant in seeing the level of collaboration and um, camaraderie that they brought to their work together. Um, that there wasn't, it was always a spirit of working together in unity for a goal.
In order to serve extracurricular needs of its students, it commenced its first capital campaign in order to build the multi-purpose facility. In 2001, the long-awaited multi-purpose facility was completed, marking the first major construction project since 1961. The biggest part of, of this facility and, and the need for this facility was the fact that we had no place for a gathering, um, you know, assemblies, no place. Um, un until this building was built at the end of the school day, this parking lot would be full of school buses, not to bus students to their homes, but to bus them to their home games, which was actually away. So once this building was built, it brought all that back here. We finally had an assembly space that everybody could enjoy. Um, we had uh, a space where all the games could be played. Um, volleyball, basketball, uh, indoor practice. There actually was a makeshift track in here so the track and field could practice in here as well. And also um, the facility is, is, is known as the, the, the multi-purpose facility because we brought the arts program in here too with the Black Box Theater upstairs on the second floor where the original plans didn't even call for second floor. Uh, but we have a weight room up there now, and, and it's just, you know, it was, it's just, it's just an awesome space. After serving as head of school for over half the school's existence, Headmaster Paul Moran retired. Having led Austin Prep through the significant changes of the 1980s and the Board of Trustees conducted a national search and appointed James Hickey, Ph.D., as Austin Prep's 10th head of school in 2013. The school's advisory program was introduced, and Austin Prep began another capital campaign. This aimed at giving a facelift to its beloved Father Seymour Field. The new synthetic turf stadium with running track included lights, a new sound system with a state-of-the-art scoreboard, an amenities building housing a concession stand and restroom facilities, and stadium seating for 1,100. Austin Prep's first ever Friday night football game took place on Father Seymour Field on November 25, 2015 to a sold-out crowd of 1,500 alumni, family, and friends. In the fall of 2016, the school renamed the multi-purpose facility for alumnus Richard J. Melia, class of 67. In recognition, His Eminence Sean Cardinal O'Malley, Archbishop of Boston, celebrated Mass at Austin Prep and blessed Richard J. Melia 67 Hall. In 2018, the dining hall, which serves as the hub of campus life for students, was completely renovated with the addition of an all-inclusive dining program. One thing about the dining hall in this facility is that it brought curb appeal to Austin Prep. And at that point in time, Austin Prep was in dire need of curb appeal to entice families to bring their children to Austin Prep. And I think that this building, the fields, everything else that has happened has increased curb appeal and I think for that reason, the dining hall, just to walk, walk in there and see students, I see my grandchildren in there now <clears throat> with pictures of them around the tables with their, with their friends, enjoying lunch and just speaking, talking and being, you know, friends and, and, and see the excitement in them as, as they're in that dining hall enjoying the space. It's just, uh, it's just pretty neat. Additionally, the David E. Nelson Fitness Center was dedicated. The start of this decade saw challenges unlike any experience in the field of education with the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite this, Austin Prep did what it does best by moving forward on a pathway of excellence and adaptation, 
seamlessly reimagining the educational experience through remote teaching and learning and live-streamed, student-centered events. Despite this challenge, growth was still a continued theme as the Loa Field Athletic Complex was completed in 2020, featuring state-of-the-art fields for baseball, field hockey, soccer, and a six-court tennis complex. Paired with the expansion of Austin Prep's athletic facilities was the transition from the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association to the New England Preparatory School Athletic Council in the fall of 2022. Though at the surface level, the move to the NEPSAC may seem athletics-based, I think it's actually the greatest expression of how the school continues to be innovative and bold in the decisions that it makes to ensure the best future possible for our student athletes. The move to the NEPSAC has proven to be a tremendous success. It's ensured that our teams are competing against like-minded teams and programs while also competing against like-minded schools, which is very important for our student athletes as they pursue the dream of becoming collegiate athletes. For the last 60 years, Austin Prep has been on an enduring and restless journey of excellence in the footsteps of St. Augustine. In that time, we have built a sturdy foundation and fortified it with the Augustinian values of Veritas, Unitas, and Caritas. These guiding and timeless values are uncompromising. They are clear and unfailing markers on a pathway that charts the course on the journey from this life to the eternal one. To endure on that restless journey of renewal and excellence for the next 60 years and beyond, Austin Prep will continue to adapt, to grow, to evolve, to transform, to renovate, and to build enthusiastically here on earth what St. Augustine called the City of God. I think 60 years is an important milestone in the history of any school, but I also think of those 60 years in the context of St. Augustine when he says that humility should precede a company and follow every good work that we do. So if you think about our 60 years in the context of a 1,600-year-old, more than 1,600-year-old Augustinian tradition, we have uh, a lot of room for growth. So from that perspective, our future is bright. We've had a great 60 years. And as I look to the future, I think that there is no reason where a community of shared values, that they don't have an equally bright future with 60 years ahead of them. St. Augustine told his followers, do not be content with what you are if you want to become what you are not yet. For where you have grown pleased with yourself, there you will remain. Always add something more, always move forward, always keep changing. In that respect, I think Austin Prep is very Augustinian, and we're just getting warmed up.